Hello, this is Archbishop Ken McNatt. I'm so happy that I can come to you today. I wanted to take just a minute of your time to share with you some principles concerning vision. Vision is essential to the life flow of ministry. The Bible tells us in the book of Proverbs that where there is no vision, people perish. And we understand that. We also understand that the word perish there means they will cast off all moral restraint. Another translation says they literally become naked and exposed. They become vulnerable to every assault and every attack of the enemy. That's the reason why when people connect with a ministry, they need to be involved in a ministry that is casting vision or has vision that provides a covering. In the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, beginning with verse number 2, the scripture says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So the Bible says we are to make vision very clear. Now it's impossible to do that without understanding the significance of the art of communication. Communication is the life flow of any environment. It's the life flow of a marriage. It's the life flow of a church, a business, or whatever. So it is very, very important that we learn how to communicate effectively, to understand who we're speaking to, to understand their language, to understand what will enable them to embrace what is in your spirit for the purpose of accomplishing the will of God. Some people learn better through a lecture format, others through visual, so you have to adapt either PowerPoint or video or other kinds of methodology. Then there's others that learn through the combination of the two. Others have to have some kind of a hands-on involvement in order to really catch vision. But everybody, in order for them to understand it and for communication to be effective, must be assimilated into some area where they can use their gifts and their talents for the glory of God. When people are able to use what God has deposited within them that is unique to their character, to their personality, and to their anointing, they add to the vision. They add to its value. They add to its completion. And they literally create a greater atmosphere for people to come to be helped and blessed in the presence of God. Another thing that is very vital for vision to be really understood and embraced is perspective. First of all, you have to have the proper perspective. The proper perspective of God, the proper perspective of yourself, the proper perspective of the place and the people to whom you have been assigned. Perspective distorted will bring about frustration. When you do not know God the way that you really should know Him, and you know, so many times when you make statements like that, especially talking to people that function in any area of leadership, it almost seems redundant, but it's not. Because all of us must continually come back to the place where the Apostle Paul was when he said, my determined purpose is that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. So we must always come back to that first place where first things are first. Jesus himself, by the Holy Ghost, spoke to John as he wrote the revelation of Jesus Christ, and he declared the significance and the importance of these, the importance of these things. Uh, he talked about how that it is vital for the church to hear, how that it is vital for us to have a proper perspective 
of what we're doing and of who we're ministering to. I also want you to understand it's not only important for communication, it's not only important for perspective, but it is important for us to stay engaged in prayer. Prayer cannot be uh, underemphasized. It must be pushed and pressed into the hearts and the minds of those that you've been called to. Because you can communicate well, uh, whether it's verbally or whether it is by means of uh, some other method with audiovisual or with drama or whatever you use, and, and you can even have a good perspective. You can have a perspective of God that's healthy. You can have a perspective of yourself and understand who God's called you to be and who God's made you to be. You can have a perspective of the people to which you have been assigned. But that is still not enough. Prayer is essential. It is a must. Because prayer is what enables you to discern the continuation of vision. Prayer is where you discover what God wants to speak to you and through you so that you are not simply speaking selfish desires, but you're speaking the desires of the one that called you. So I want to encourage you today to write those three things down and remember that if vision is going to be cast properly, you must focus on communication, you must embrace the concept of perspective, and you must always, always involve the medium of prayer as a place of priority for success. Now, I want to pray for you. Father, I thank you today for my precious friend. I'm so thankful that you have connected us through means of video today, that you've allowed me to come to them and to just share with them some little nuggets that you've dropped in my spirit. I pray that they will take these things and run with them and enlarge uh, in their own mind and spirit what has been spoken, and they will utilize it for the advancement of the kingdom of God. I thank you for it in the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus. Now, I want to encourage you to do something. I want to encourage you to email me. Email me at globalharvest at AOL.com. And when you email me, if that's all you've got to do, just email me so that I know that uh, you took the time to listen to this little video. And if you will email me, I want to send you, by way of email, a... Uh, audio that you can download of a tremendous teaching that God gave me that I believe will be a blessing to your life. It's my gift to you because I love you. So please take a moment to do that if you will. That's globalharvest at aol.com. You don't have to make it a lengthy response if you can just simply say, I took the time to watch the video. I would like the uh, CD emailed to me, and we will email that to you wherever you are in the world. Well, that, that's the beauty of technology, that we can do that. And so I, I pray you'll take advantage of it. Please, again, know that we love you. We're praying for you. We believe in you. And I know that your best is yet to come. I believe that this is going to be a year of tremendous success in your life and in your ministry. Don't allow the circumstances to surround you to dictate your progress or to dictate whether you do or do not continue to communicate vision to the people. You can do it. It's in you. God has given it to you. He's placed it upon your life. That is the grace, the ability, the enablement to cast vision. And those three ideas, if you'll utilize them, will not only help you, but it will help others to understand what you carry inside. God bless you is my prayer. Until next time.